Hi there, I'm here today playing violin and I'm doing The Two Grenadiers by Schumann. All right, this one's a little bit tricky because of its key signature. I have one flat, so what I need to do is play C naturals, F naturals, and G naturals, okay? I also, on the E string, I have F natural, and on the A string, I have B flat, okay? And then on top of all of that, I have some accidentals that come up right away to change all of those things, but we still need to understand them. I also have this rhythm, dotted eighth and sixteenth, so my rhythm uh, would sound like this. One, two, ta, three, four, one. One, two, ta, three, four, one. If I took away my slur, See how late I have to play that E. See that? And now I'm going to add my slur in, but the second note needs to be, uh, it's slurred staccato, it's short. So, starting up bow. Up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Just do that a couple of times. Up, down, up, up, down, up, down. You want to have your arm sort of memorize what it's doing because you're going to have a lot of things going on on the left side. Okay, so maybe let's do this with an open A. Up, up, down, up. And again, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Okay, adding my notes. my F natural, low one, get it way back there. One, two, three, four. Sharp, they change, this accidental changed their mind, so C sharp, B natural on my tape. Two, three. Low one, again, F natural, just like the beginning. Two, three, four. Low two, G natural, F natural, low one, down, lift, down. Not out here. No, it's got to be down at the frog. One, tay, two, there's my B flat, I'm low one. One, tay, two, tay. Look at that measure again. My rhythm is I'm on measure 11. One te two te three te four te one. One te two te three te four te one. It's that dotted quarter note. And you really have to say in your head one te two before you play the next note. If you guess, you're probably gonna play it wrong. So just say it out. One te two te two downs. Down down. One, te, two, te. Slur. And fourth finger or, or open. Okay, so I'm going to do that one again. One, te, two, te. Accidental, the C sharp, and also we've had a crescendo. So you notice that at 11, your piano, but then 15, a crescendo, they wrote it out, the letters, and then in 16, they give you the symbol for a crescendo. So I need to be getting louder as I go. Uh, we just had an accidental at 18, and measure 19, piano also more motion, just like moving it along a little bit, okay? One, two, two, two. So a lot of students get confused on how many A's to play there. I think it's best to mark your last note of measure uh, 19 with a down bow. That tells me that 
on my down bow, I'm going to be playing high D. So watch this. Uh, starting at 18, C sharp. slowly. This is a tricky spot. At the moderato, we have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So we've changed from having all these low ones and F naturals and everything to just F sharps and C sharps. Keep the low two on the E string because that's a G. That's a G natural. You still need that. Okay. So I'm on the pickup to the moderato at the key change. One, two, two, two. That's a tie from two beats to an eighth note, so it's two and a half beats. So one, two, three, four. Louder. One, two, two. One, two, three, four, two. Just like in the beginning when we had up, up, remember? It's the same, same idea with the bowing. Down, up, up again, up, down, okay? So I'm starting on measure 31. It's fortissimo, as loud as you can play. And then there's railroad tracks or a Cesare. You think you will need to stop for just a second and then go on. So I'm starting at uh, measure 35. So that means kind of stretching it out a little bit. I'm going to play this whole thing straight through without any stops, just so you get a good feel for it. Remember, I'm going back to my other key signature where I have those low ones.